welcome everyone to this episode of Totally Unscripted. So um, I'm delighted today to be joined by uh, Wakar Ahmed, who, who's uh, been uh, a long time contributor to the Google Apps Script community. Perhaps gone a bit quiet <coughs> recently, but it's great to see him come back uh, quite quite loud, vocal, and um, doing um, continuing his his track of doing really interesting stuff. So uh, welcome, Wakar. This is um, a fascinating talk. I, I think you'll find um, that Wakar is going to give us in a second. So um, Wakar is talking about uh, intelligent conversational apps um, using API.ai, which is a Google service. So rather than um, stealing all Wakar's thunder, I'll, I'll hand it over to you, Wakar, and uh, take us through it. Uh, thank you, uh, Martin. Uh, I welcome all of you uh, to the show. Uh, so today I will talk about uh, uh, intelligent conversational apps with Google Apps Script and API.ai. So the agenda for the Apps Script uh, for this uh, session is I will first uh, briefly introduce what is API.ai and then I will uh, discuss about API.ai webhook which we will use in the with Google Apps Script and then I will explain how we can make Google Apps Script web as uh, web app as a api.ai webhook and then i will go through some codes uh, so that uh, you get to know how i have implemented it and then i will go to the demo and then explain that demo how i set up that demo with uh, uh, with apps script and api.ai so what is api.ai so api.ai is basically a conversational user experience platform by google which enables branch unique natural language interaction for devices like Google Home Assistant, or you can make applications and, uh, and services uh, using this API.ai platform. So machine learning allows your API.ai agent to understand a user's interaction as natural language and convert them into structured data or in API.ai technology. Uh, your agent uses machine learning algorithms to match user requests to specific intents. Uh, API.ai automatically matches what the user wants to say and then uh, extract the entities to, and relevant data from the, from the user input. Okay. So in API.ai, we use Webhook to, uh, to integrate the API.ai agent with third party services. So when you set up an API.ai webhook, uh, it allows you to pass the information from the uh, matched intent, intent into a web service and then get a result from it. Okay. So in this case, we will use Google Apps Script Web App as a web service with API.ai webhook. Uh, Apps Script Web Service as an API.ai webhook. You, uh, apps script content service, we can uh, turn the Apps script web app into a, a web service. So uh, when someone calls this web service, uh, the web service returns data to the caller based on this request. And also we know that the con content service works on a temporary redirect. Whenever you request uh, for some data to the Apps script web service, which uses content service, it will automatically redirect to a Google user content.com URL, temporary URL. So, which is different URL than the uh, API URL. So, the problem is that uh, API.ai webhook does not follow the redirect. So, you cannot integrate API.ai with Apps Script service directly. So, I came out, came out with a work around uh, web proxies. So I made this proxy using Google App Engine. You can use Google Cloud Function also in this case, but I used Google App Engine. Uh, <clears throat> so you see that the API dot agent and apps is service is Google Apps App Engine proxy. So what it does basically when uh, it gets the request from the API dot uh, AI agent post request. So and along with the post request. It sends a header web app URL, header with the web app URL, so that the proxy knows where it has to forward the request. So uh, in the web app URL, uh, in, the, in the web app URL header, we write the access service 
uh, URL, and then uh, this is uh, forwarded to the. You see that uh, this is forwarded to the Google Any proxy is forwarded to the uh, script service. So. After that, a uh, Chris uh, AppScript web service receives the data. It process, processes the data and returns the response uh, by a 302 redirect to the Google App Engine proxy. And then Google App Engine proxy returns the data to the returns the response to the API.ai engine. So this was this is the total setup uh, in order to make the API.ai agent talk to the AppScript web service. So this is the GI proxy code. Uh, here I receive the web app URL header, and then as, then Google App Engine proxy makes a request to the web app URL which is received in the header, and all the payload is forwarded to the, uh, this web app URL. Whatever is received from the web app URL, this is written to the Google App Engine. Google App Engine response as a Google App Engine response, and it is returned back to the API.ai agent. So uh, this is the public link for for the App Engine proxy. So this is the file for the proxy. So this is public link. Uh, you can go to this uh, URL and then find the code for the proxy. So I am back to the presentation. And then this is App Script Web Service Code. Here I received uh, data from the Google App Engine proxy as a post request. So I use here as a true post as entry point. Here I get the content which is sent by the Google App Engine proxy. And then I receive the structured data which is uh, which is received by the uh, API.ai agent. If you go to the API.ai uh, documentation, you will see that you will see that it has come from this form, uh, uh, this, this format. Here, in this object, this result object, and under the parameters, all the inputs which you have extracted from the users, uh, users in users language. So this will come under the parameters. So I use this uh, result parameters in the Google app in the access script proxy. So I receive it here, and then I process this, uh, process the data which is uh, received, and then I return the response to the uh, Google App Engine proxy, Google App Engine proxy, which is then uh, returned back to the Google API dot AI agent. So let us take a look on the demo. So first, I will go to API dot AI console and show you what is the setup in the API dot AI. This is a simple uh, board which uh, uh, using uh, from which from which uh, a user can interact and book an appointment to the owner of the board. Okay, so here I made an uh, book appointment. And these are the text what uh, what the user might say based on the based on this text. Uh, API dot AI agent will know that uh, the person wants to uh, book a meeting, and then these are the entities. Uh, which are required from the user in order to book an appointment. So this is date, time, and the name of the user, name of the person, and then email email ID of the person. So if user doesn't provide the uh, any of these parameters, so there will be a question like what, what should be the prompts on the board? So here I have defined the prompts like if the date is missing, then board will say to have a date in mind or when do you want to meet? Similarly for time. If there is uh, first, it, it will ask for date. When there is a date, then it will say what time on that date. Okay. So it will ask, ask the user like this. So this is how we extract the input from the user. So so and uh, the other is as a script web service which I have set up. I go to the I go through the code here. So in this case, the request is received in the new post and then. The post content is just extracted, which is then sent to the server function. And then from here, I, I get the user, user input, structured user input. And from that input, I get the date. And then 
I make it as a start date and end date time as uh, half an hour slot on my calendar from the time when the user has requested. Okay, so it's like uh, start time and I have made it made here, and then the using calendar app, I am making uh, creating an event. And then, uh, the user, uh, the person, I ask, I add the person as a guest in that, uh, in that meeting. And then as a script web service returns the response that thank you and the name, I have booked your appointment, you will receive a mail notification. So this was, this was a very simple setup, uh, just to show you how you can integrate the apps script web service with API.ai agent. So I will go through, go through the demo now. So I go to the integrations. Uh, for uh, quick, uh, quick integration is the web demo, which is built in the API.ai. So I will open that demo. I'll make a screen smaller so that it looks like a chat box. I want to say here, I want to meet. So, uh, uh, API.ai agent automatically knows that you want to do a meeting. So, it asks for do you have a date in mind. So, I say yes on next. That's it. So, it knows that the uh, online address is the next Thursday. So, what time on next Thursday? I say 11 a.m. I know your name, so I say it has your email ID. I say. How did it is interacting with the AI web service? And then the request was sent to the access uh, access service, and the response is written from the access service. So it says, thank you, I have booked your appointment. You will receive a mail notification shortly in your mailbox. So let us check, uh, let us check my calendar. So I'll go to calendar.com. So the appointment was booked on 10th August. I will go, 10, go to 10th August. You see that there is a meeting in the team. If I go to the detail of the event, you see the meeting is as guest here. So this was the demo about how to integrate apps script web service with API. So this was it about the uh, integration of apps script with API.ai. So thank you. That's impressive stuff. <laughs> um, so, well, <laughs> I, I've got many questions and comments, but I wonder, uh, we've got Steve and Jonathan, if, if they've got anything. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, very impressive. It's, it's interesting how you had the problem of the redirect, and you're able to think through that, yes. in this case, leverage uh, Google App Engine. And I believe you said it's possible to choose another option, like maybe uh, uh, cloud functions, is that what you said? Yeah, 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 that, that's right, yeah. You can use any web service, uh, you can use any platform which just receives the HTTP request and then forwards the mm -hmm. request to uh, to another URL and then receives the request and returns the data on the same URL as requested by the API.ai. Okay, yeah. So was, any service, yeah. it can be any PHP web service or app engine or cloud function. It, yeah. It's up to the person who, who is going to implement. Yeah, it was very well done. So, so thank you. I think one of the impressive me things for me is that there wasn't really any noticeable lag. Um, so I'm, I'm imagining as you're collecting the individual pieces of information, it's not needing to interact with App Script. It's only once it's got everything. But even when it got everything, it, it didn't take long for that uh, response to come up. So uh, are you finding it's you know even with the having to do a proxy redirect that it's not affecting uh, the user experience. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, actually, when I was testing initially with when I was directly integrating with AppScript, uh, all the time uh, response was coming like uh, 
the response from the access script is empty. All the time comes like 206 error, empty response. I, I noticed there when you're going through your demo as well that um, the API um, dot AI basically allows you to do a, an iframe embed of the, of the chatbot. So um, that makes it very straightforward in terms of you know if you were wanting to do something with the uh, in an add-on or in the sidebar or um, you know yeah, actually right, right, right. Yeah. In, yes. interacting with them something yeah, very straightforward. I suppose the the challenge is is um, designing you know instead of a kind of um, a, kind of a graphic user interface, you're you're now having to think about a vo voice user interface and you know constructing those prompts and those questions. But it looks like the API.ai service you know helps you a lot in terms of being able you know you still need to enter a lot of bits and pieces, but it, yeah, it yeah. takes a lot of the headache out. Yes, actually, it does two things. Uh, the one thing is the natural language processing, and the other is, thing is the other thing is speech recognition. Uh, if you see in this agent, uh, the agent I showed, I will share my screen again. Recognition by Google. That is, that is also having a mic icon here, so you can uh, converse with this app directly, or you can embed this app in an iframe somewhere in your sidebar or some add-on. Okay, so so yes. so. So you can do voice and input as well. Steve, is this um, sending your cogs whirring in terms of what, what you might be doing with some of your add-ons? Yeah, especially since you know how add-ons, you can have a dialogue over your document or form or yeah. spreadsheet. But we have the nice sidebar. And as you pointed out, it's interesting that you can you know, fit right there in the sidebar to have a natural language experience to interface with your data either by typing or voice. So it does create some ideas. <laughs> so I mean, we'll, we'll see where this goes. Yeah. It, it's nice that you know, you, you've got the benefits of Google Apps Script, where you've got all these services, and you know, even the ones that aren't in the box in terms of you know, calendar and uh, you know, the, whole, the whole list of maps and things like that. Um, it's so easy to plug into these services. And that, that's what one of the things I, I really liked about your demonstration was you, you, know, you were able to create you know, a calendar event very quickly um, within a couple of lines of code uh, from the data that you got yeah. back from api.ai. So there's a, a lot of scope there uh, in terms of what you, you can do quickly and easily. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what other people come up with in terms of how you can integrate this.